Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is uh, another exercise dealing with measures of location. Specifically here we're just going to look at, um, at calculating a mean. Now a mean, of course, uh, we know this is calculated by adding up all of the observations in our data set and dividing it by the number of observations that we have. However, in this particular exercise, uh, we don't have the data set. Instead of having the data set itself, what we do have is a frequency distribution of the data set. So we have uh, salary ranges. This is salaries of university administrators. And we have the frequency of observations uh, in each of those ranges. So how do we use this information to calculate a mean? Well, we're only going to be able to calculate an approximate mean. We don't have enough information to get the precise exact mean, uh, but given this information we can get a pretty good estimate. So what we need uh, is uh, one more piece of information that we can calculate in order to do this estimate, and that is the midpoint. Uh, so I'm going to add a column, and we'll calculate the midpoint. The notation that we're going to use is mi, and i, i is going to be a placeholder for the class or the, the bin or the bucket. So here I have how many classes? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six classes uh, and I'm going to calculate the midpoint of each of those. So if we start with the first, I have 61 plus 79 divided by two. So the middle of this class is 69.5. So there's 69.5. The next one will be 80 plus 99 divided by 2. 89.5. 89.5. Now I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut. I know that the difference between each of these midpoints is going to be a value of 20. So I can fill this in. The next one will be uh, 109, 109 129.5, 129.5, 149.5, and finally 169.5. So here I've got all of my midpoints. Now, how do we go about getting our mean from this? So our, our sample mean, I'm going to put a little a here because really this is an approximate an approximate value. It's calculated in a similar way to a weighted mean or a weighted average. We're going to use uh, as our value of interests, these will be the midpoint, so I'll use the notation mi. We're going to weight those by the frequency. So this will be the frequency i, so this is let me just add my notation. This is fi. So that's the number of times an observation exists within that class. And we're multiplying it by the midpoint of that class. And we're going to sum these together from i equals 1. I'm going to use the notation k, where k is the total number of classes. So here, k is equal to 6. I have 6 classes, so k is 6. And then we divide this uh, by, uh, again, the number of observations. So often it would be, we divide it by n. In this case, n is equal to the sum of all of those frequencies. So we're adding together uh, the number of observations to give us n. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go through first and we'll calculate our numerator value. So let me just, let's come down here. So this, I'll calculate all of these mi's. Uh, fi times mi. So, for the first one, this is going to be, there's two observations in that class that have a midpoint of 69.5. So this is 139. 
this was 2 times 69.5. Okay, so here that was this first calculation here. The next one that I'm going to do is 4 times 89.5. So that's going to be now this next class here. And then I'm just going to move and continue down uh, repeating those calculations. So this is 4 times 89.5. So that's 358. Oops, what happened there? I don't need red. Okay, the next one was 7 is my frequency times the midpoint 109.5, 766.5. Next, 9 is my frequency, midpoint 129.5, so 1165 and a half. Okay, and just a couple more to go. 5 times 149.5, 747 and a half. And the last one, my frequency is 3 times 169.5, so 508 and a half. Okay, and then if we add all of those together, that will give us our numerator. So 139 plus 358 plus 766.5 plus 1165.5 plus 747 plus 508.5 equals, so 3685. 3685 is my numerator. Now my denominator is the sum of frequencies. So my denominator, I'm just going to add together all of these values here. So this is going to be 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 5 plus 3. So that's 30. And this equals 3685. 3685 divided by 30. Uh, 122.83. 122.83, and this is in thousands of dollars US. So this gives me an average salary of $122,830. An approximate average. Approximate only because we're working with these midpoint values. We don't have exactly the, the complete data set. We just have the distribution of observations. And so given that frequency distribution, this is our best estimate of that sample mean. Okay, good. I hope that that helps, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.